So here I am again working on another portfolio piece. So I don't think I've actually mentioned it on this channel before, but as of 2024, I'm on my own as a freelance graphic designer. And truthfully, things haven't really been going so well. I've had like maybe one or two projects pop up, nothing really crazy or something that's like really interesting to me that I really wanna be doing with my time. And so I've been taking the Business Accelerator course by the future, seeing if that can help me. And of course, part of that course is to update our portfolios. So to make this portfolio piece worth working on, it has to have three different things. It has to be something that I'm interested in, it has to fill in gaps in my portfolio, and it has to show off my work as it is currently. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to take the skills that I've already learned and apply it to something that I haven't done before. So let's set the stage for what this portfolio piece is. So what I'm going to make is a magazine article that talks about skateboarding and punk music. I'm interested in both of those, so that way it's a good fit for me, and I also think it'll work well with my style. I want this to be a double spread, so both pages, so that way I have a lot of space to work with. As far as the style goes, I really just wanna do something that's grungy and experimental, you know, the kind of stuff that you've probably already seen me make. So with all that out of the way, let's get to it. All right, so I don't normally start with sketches, but for this type of project, I felt like it might make a little bit more sense just to kind of get an idea of where I want to put everything and how I might want to structure everything. So that's already going to make this project a little bit different. So what I already went ahead and did is go online and just try to find a bunch of different images that I could use. So that way I could have an idea of some of the compositions and ideas that I could come up with. That way I already kind of knew what I had in terms of content. So that way I can kind of tailor whatever I'm making to that. So that way I don't come up with an idea that I just can't do. I will be open to ideas that aren't directly inspired by the photography, but at least gives me a starting point. So that way I hopefully don't have to go back and find more photography. So. Let's jump in and we'll just start coming up with ideas. So up here in the corner, I already went ahead and just really quickly just wrote down some descriptions of some ideas that I have. So anyways, that's where we're at. So I'm just gonna kinda start sketching and just kind of seeing what I can come up with. So these are just some really quick and very rough sketches that I did. Just six, I feel like this is a good starting point. I can always kind of reiterate or come back to this, but this at least gives me kind of an idea of what I'm thinking in my head and what I think might work, as well as some you know rough layouts. Obviously, I don't think any of this is going to actually be exactly what it looks like, but this at least gives me kind of an idea to go off on and I don't have to worry about um, worrying about it in Photoshop. So I think the three that I like the most are this one, this one, and this one. I really like the idea of really playing with the full spread so it goes over multiple pages rather than like on this one where like the collage is on the right and then we have all the kind of text and copy on the left. It's fine, but I feel like this is a little bit more exciting uh, just to have it kind of break over into the second page rather than just having them separated. So I think that'll make it a little bit more dynamic and allow me to come up with some more interesting compositions whenever I start kind of getting into more of the specifics of the designs whenever I've uh, settled into one of them. So I think I'm gonna start with these three. Hopefully we'll figure out something good with them and then we can go from there. So let's jump into Photoshop. Now that I have a couple rough ideas, I just want to go over them real quick, kind of give you my thoughts on them, and then we'll see where we're going to go in the future. So as you probably saw, these are the four designs that I came up with. Obviously, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on them. These are just rough ideas. I really just wanted to see kind of what they looked like on the page, 
you know, going from my mind to an actual design, seeing how it translated, seeing if I could find the right photographs, really just seeing how they turned out. The two that I liked the most, as well as some people that I asked for their opinions, liked these two the best. Now, originally I was going to do just one double spread, but I actually might make that two. Now I'm thinking that might be a better direction because that just gives me another chance to kind of show off my work. So in that way it's better, but I also think that these two designs kind of go well together since they're both collage based. So, you know, I might as well. But really what it's going to depend on is the amount of content that I have. I found an article that was already written that I really liked. I reached out to that person to see if they'd be okay with me using it, but I haven't heard back from them. So I might just have to have ChatGBT write me something just so I have something to use. If there's a lot of content, I'll definitely have to go to two double spreads. But if it's enough where I can fit it in one, then, you know, there's not really a whole lot of point in uh, making it double or, you know, really stretching things out for no reason. So now that I have a general direction that I like and I have some ideas that I like, it's really just kind of getting into the details, cleaning everything up and adding whatever else I want to add just to, you know, make it look as good as I possibly can. So let's get back to it. So change of plans. If you're familiar with my channel, this won't come as a surprise, but I was doing something off camera. I thought it was just gonna be like one quick little thing. Uh, and then it turned into changing the direction of this project completely. So I just wanted to do a quick update, show you where I'm at now currently. So that way we can move on to hopefully adding the final touches to the project and then it can be complete. So first off, let me show you what I did in Illustrator for the titles. So you saw me probably working on a bunch of this stuff, but I did a lot of extra stuff that I was just kind of testing out, trying. I just wanted to come up with a bunch of different ideas and see what I could come up with. Um, so if we go down here, I was really just trying to explore a little different ideas. I was trying to use kind of like some um, variable type faces with some different size, different lengths. You know, I wanted to do something that maybe just had like the layout of the typography was different or like over here where it's the layout, but as well as I mean like, you know, turning things and stretching things. This was just another iteration of this one. I was trying to do maybe like a full spread thing, really just trying a bunch of things. I believe I ended up going with uh, this one, at least so far that might change a little bit, but that's kind of where I'm at right now, at least as far as the title and the typography. Now, as far as the article goes, this is probably where I left off with this collage, but I was looking at it and it just, it just wasn't doing it for me. I just thought it wasn't that exciting. I don't think it's my best work. And I mean, this is a portfolio piece. I want this to be as good as it possibly can. And for me, this just doesn't say, hire me, I'm really good at doing this. I don't know if it's the angle, the multiple spreads, the instruments, I, I don't know. Just for some reason, I just couldn't get it to click in my mind and make sense and to work cohesively together. And so I wanted to come up with something else that I thought might work. And so I came up with two other ideas that I think are a better direction for this project. So the first one being this one, which I like, I'm not totally sold on. I think it's interesting and does what it needs to do. I just don't know if it's the direction that I want to go in, especially since it's like kind of like full blown pictures rather than like smaller ones. So I, I don't know, it just doesn't really resonate with me the way that I would hope it would, but it's an all right direction. I might revisit it and tweak it and then, you know, maybe it's better. But for right now, it's kind of like a secondary thing. The one that I'm most excited about is this one, um, which is kind of similar to the last one, but I think it's a little bit more exciting since we have the cutout of the guy skateboarding. So it's not just two full blown images. So I feel like I can do a lot more with this because I can take exactly where it's at now and I can add a bunch of um, cringe textures and stuff just to make it a little bit more interesting. So, and I also like that it's in black and white for some reason, that's just what I had in my head whenever I first started this project. Uh, it just feels right to me. I don't know if that's wrong or whatever, but to me, that just makes the most sense. I really like having like this very stark contrast, very grungy, has almost a very um, 
older kind of look to it, I guess. Almost like it was kind of like a Xerox poster that you might see from like the 90s or 80s, you know, something like that. That's I guess that's the kind of feel that I get from looking at it like this. And that's the, kind of what I was going for. So like I said, I think this is the direction I'm going to go. I'm probably going to leave this here for now and then just start working on the other spread. Um, so I'll probably record that. You'll see that. And then that way, uh, whenever we get to the final results, you'll be able to see, you know, the, the differences, you know, you know, it'll be a little bit of a surprise. So anyways, let's get back to it. <music> So here's where we ended up. Honestly, I'm really happy with how this project came out. This design is definitely different from what I had intended to create at the beginning. A lot of the ideas that I had just didn't really work out the way that I thought they would, which is fine because it led me to where we're at now. And I think this is a better outcome altogether. I just think that the overall idea was a really great way to combine the imagery for both skateboarding and punk music. So that way it feels authentic to both of them while still combining them into kind of one singular image or graphic. So that way it feels like it's not one or the other or they're not divided. It's something that's completely together and combined in a really cool and interesting way. Honestly, this project was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I would just come up with a couple ideas, kind of pick the best one, and then just go on with the direction just like that. Unfortunately or fortunately, that's not really how it happened. I had to try a bunch of stuff. A lot of the ideas that I originally thought of just didn't really end up working. And so I just kind of had to try things out until something worked. So yes, it was a little bit of a struggle to get to a final product that I was happy with, but ultimately it all worked out and I'm happy with how it came out. But since this was my first time doing an editorial design and I didn't really know too much about what I was doing, I'd say I did a pretty good job. But I'd like to know what you guys thought. Did I do well? Did I do bad? Should I have done something else? Were some of my older ideas better? Let me know in the comments. And of course, if you guys found this video entertaining or helpful in any way, I appreciate it if you would check out the rest of my channel and then consider subscribing. I hope to see you in the next video.